What's up, YouTube? First and foremost, shout out to all my subscribers, Alien Army, stand up, raise up, keep dropping those comments and hit the like buttons. If this is the first time you're watching one of my videos, uh, I'm, I am a small channel, so hitting the like button and dropping a comment really does help a whole lot. I know that you know that already. However, I like to remind you that to give you an example, about every 10 likes and 10 comments I get in combination is about 100 people more that watch my video. However, if I get 100 uh, likes, it actually becomes 2,000 people that my video gets exposed to or shown to, however you, uh, however you see fit so it has been a few days since i've posted i'm gonna jump right into this video but i want to shout out to uh, alien army checking on me and stuff like that and i'm gonna jump right into it so i'm gonna talk about a crazy night that just happened a couple nights ago since i haven't posted for a few days and also giving gonna give you guys some updates about uh, what's going on with trucking and a lot of stuff that's been going on and uh, i want to fill you in that's going to come a little bit later i want to kind of jump into uh, what happened a few days ago and it happened at nighttime and it's pretty crazy so i think i'm gonna name this video um uh you know, uh, homeless, one crazy night at the truck stop, something, something like that. Maybe I'll change it. Who knows? <coughs> um, so we'll jump straight into it. So uh, a few days ago, uh, I think it's been about three or four days since I posted. So I'd probably say about four days ago, I pull into the truck stop. And uh, I guess one quick update, why I haven't been able to drop a, a video uh, or why I haven't, I should say, is, um, you know, I'm getting ready to, you know, uh, to, to jump back on a truck. I'm uh, losing weight. Uh, I'm exercising. But on top of all that, uh, there's a lot of stuff that I need financially. Like, I need back tires for my car. Uh, my car needs an oil change again. Uh, you know, um, there's a lot, a lot of stuff that I... I I, I really do need uh, before getting on the truck. So I've been um, doing, uh, I always work DoorDash and Uber Eats. However, I've been out here all day and night now. Like, so I'm not packing in at five now. Uh, I'm packing in at like, you know, nine o'clock, you know, nine, 10 o'clock at night. And then I, I, uh, when I'm waiting for orders, exercising, I'm gonna get back into that uh, a little bit later. I don't want, you know, I don't want people clicking off, you know, so I'm gonna jump straight into the story. And that's a good one too. Uh, this is this is all true. I'm an honest person, uh, but nonetheless, I pull into the truck stop that I stay at uh, most often. I do switch around. I stay at rest areas and truck stops, and I do sleep in my car. So if this is the first time you're watching one of my videos, <laughs> this is one time you know first time watching one of your videos. I am homeless. I've been homeless for a long time. Uh, I've been living in my car. I am you know definitely trying to change my stars and uh, you know. Uh, you know, do something about it. I've been working this whole time. Uh, if you want to know uh, the full story, I do have a video on here. It's called literally uh, homeless uh, full story. Uh, I have stuff about trucking, why I quit trucking and things like that. So if you like this, subscribe and definitely check out the other videos. But I do want to jump straight into the story. <clears throat> so without uh, further ado, ado um, I pull up to the truck stop that I normally stay at. I, uh, if you've watched me for a while, you know, I got a, another homeless buddy. His name is Ruffin It, and he stays in his car. It's him and his dog. His dog has uh, saved my bacon before when, uh, when when two people ran up on me. I have a video about that. Uh, yeah, I didn't even know the guy very well, and he let the dog out uh, when I was uh, facing two people, and uh, I was uh, I was getting to... I was getting uh, getting worked on a little bit, tell you the truth, um, you know. But it is what it is. The dog saved me, <laughs> you know. And uh, man, I, I always forget what breed it is. I'm not to ask him again today. Uh, a border collie. That's what he's got. He's got a border collie, and she's extremely protective over him uh, and uh, his vehicle. Like anybody that comes near that vehicle, uh, she's going off, and she will jump straight out the window to get you. However, when she's out the car, she's a little bit different, but she listens to all his controls. I've never had a border collie. I am really good with dogs, and I do like animals. Um, I really don't know what their temperament's like, but I know that uh, uh, she uh, she she definitely uh, you know uh, <laughs> I don't know what to say. She she, she hooked me up and. And, uh, you know, she was cool as hell, um, saving me. I'm glad she didn't bite the shit out of me like she did, uh, she did that person. But, uh, nonetheless, um, into the story. I pull in. When I pull in, there's a lot of lizard talking to him. Uh, and a lot of people do visit and talk, talk with him. You know, he's, his nickname is Roughing It for a reason. So this is the first time I'm watching your videos. He's, uh, he's in his 70s. Uh, he's been married twice. Uh, he's got a daughter. He had his daughter late in life, like 50 years old. Um, you know, he's, he's somewhere, somewhere in the seventies. Um, and I'll be talking about him a little bit more in the, you know, like, uh, with the updates and stuff. Cause I, uh, he's got a very interesting story that I want to talk about. And, uh, he is, he's a buddy of mine. Um, you know, I don't have a lot of friends that, that are homeless. I, you know, the ones that aren't doing too bad, I'll say hi or what's up. Sometimes we look out for each other, you know, let us know if somebody's near a car, uh, and things like that. So, uh, he's talking to a lot lizard. I've never seen this lot lizard before. Uh, she's young. She's 24 years old. And when I pull up there, I back in uh, into my spot, 
and um, this particular spot I like to back into. There's a couple of them around there, but uh, in this one in particular, nobody can walk behind my vehicle. I'm very protective. I don't like people walking behind my car. They have no reason to. I don't like people getting close to my car. If you follow, follow along with this, and with good reason. I keep my head on the swivel. If, if you're walking around here being friendly with everybody, that's how they get you. Nobody ever lets you know what their what their bad intentions are right off the bat. Otherwise, you wouldn't have um, you know enemies for a reason. A lot of the worst enemies that anybody could ever have were once your friends. And because of that, they know who your family is, they know maybe what your weaknesses are, what your strengths are, how you think, how you process it and stuff. You know, so I really don't try to, to get too close to people, even though I have a very big heart and uh, I, w I, I do want to end homelessness one day. Uh, will I be able to do it? Who knows? We'll see. You know, uh, that, that's just my dream. And, you know, I heard uh, uh, the problem with people's having dreams is that they don't dream big enough. That's my big dream. <coughs> so he's talking to a lot lizard. I back in. She, uh, she uh, is looking over at me, and then she walks, uh, approach, pro starts approaching my car. Before she gets too close, I roll my window down and I say, uh, "I'm not buying." And uh, you know that means you know like I can know she's a lot lizard and she's an addict and she's uh, she, she's got that um, the addict thing going on with their, their face, like you know you know when somebody is strung out, right? She's got that stuff, and what I call that is, is I call it boogies. It looks like a bunch of boogies all over her face, and it sounds funny. It's a funny word, and uh, <clears throat> I'm telling you my first impression uh, of her. You know, it's like, Jesus Christ, do not come near me. Like, I don't even want to. I don't even want you like six feet away from me. I need, I need, I need a further distance. There's, me and you ain't got nothing to talk about. You know what I mean? Uh, you know, whatever you got going on. I'm not here to judge, not here to, to, to do anything crazy, but I definitely know that me and you, um, you know, I'm alien. I, I'm on a different planet. Whatever you got going on, you, you keep it over there, you know? She says, uh, <clears throat> she says, I'm not selling. That's what I So I said, uh, I'm not buying. She says, I'm not selling. She says, uh, she's like, uh, can I use your phone? And I said, no. And then she's like, why not? And I said, I'm protective. And she's like, she's like you're not a detective. And I go, no, I said, I'm protective. And she's like, well, did that slip? Are you a cop? And I said, no, I'm not a cop. And I pointed to roughing it. I go, no, he knows me. <clears throat> I'm not a cop, but uh, I'm, I'm protective. I don't like anybody close to my car. Uh, and I'm not going to let you use my phone. You know, and I said it as a matter of fact as that. I'm trying to think what, uh, what she said next. Uh, I think after that point, she's like, she's like, good, because I am selling. And she's like, you know, it's my body. And then she also says um, uh, the stuff that she sells uh, beyond that. Um, this is YouTube, so <clears throat> I'm going to try to use code words. Uh, brack, but you take, well, back, but you take the B out and put a C. Uh, Beth, you take the B out and put an M. And then uh, the hard H, uh, you know, that's what she says. Uh, she, everything except for what starts with an F. And she uses all three of them. She, she flat out says it. Uh, she's the second homeless person that I've ran into recently that um, said if it wasn't for them using that stuff that they would no longer be here. Um, in particular, Beth, because it keeps them up at night and nobody can run up on them. You know, well, I mean, they're they're more alert. Like if they're sleeping, they can freeze from how cold this winter's been. It's actually a lot warmer now. Um, you know, compared to what it is, it's actually 52 degrees right now. So wearing the shirt, no hoodie, nothing like that, which is cool. Um, but so she says all that, and then uh, you know, I said nope, and uh, she's like, all right. She's like, you know, you know, I, every time I pop over here, I stop and talk to him. I'm like, okay. So she walks back to to roughing it, which is he's just a few cars to the to left of me at the point. <clears throat> does that and uh, I'm on high alert like man what the hell man now I gotta and this is the, at this time it's like you know five o'clock five six o'clock um you know at night so she goes at, oh that's what she does before she does that she she's talking to, uh, about gossip and drama inside the truck stop uh, in particular inside the place the workers <clears throat> she's like you know they can't get rid of me even when they call the cops, the cops don't show up. And when the cops do show up, they know that I don't care. She says, you know, like she likes being thrown in jail. She's like, she's like nighttime sucks a little bit, but at least I know I'm safe. She's like, I like being thrown in uh, the county jail during the daytime. She's like, I run amok. I have fun. She's like, uh, she's tell me about the woman's uh, side of the county. And she's like, you know, there's no cameras inside the, 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 the bathroom. So she's telling me, you know, uh, she's like, I, that's the only place that I don't go is I don't go in the shower area without having a friend with me. And evidently, um, bad stuff happens to, happen to women inside this county jail. You know, uh, this isn't, uh, you know, 
every every jail I guess is different. Here things can happen, and she goes in there with a friend. Like she hooks up with a girl, and then they she won't go to the shower. She's telling me all that crap. Still not. I tell her, you know, you know, I I have empathy and I have sympathy for people, and I don't think I'm better than anybody. Um, you know, I put my pants on the same way as you guys do, one leg at a time. <clears throat> If we have if we have differences of uh, of lifestyle, you know, especially uh, you know, I don't want to come off judgmental, but everybody does judge a little bit. <clears throat> if you're into that kind of stuff, I know what normally follows that, and um, what, the stuff that follows with it is nothing nothing. I have nothing in common with it. You know what I mean. However, I do have empathy and I do have sympathy and I understand uh, people people um, aren't doing so well, you know, and, uh, you know, I don't need to know uh, why they decided to to do something. In fact, uh, you know, it's, you know, I pray for them and I hope I hope that they get better or I hope that they find happiness, yeah, you know, happiness in this life and after. And uh, if that what they really want to do is change their life, then, uh, you know, I can't at this point. I can't and I'm not Superman. I'm trying to get my my stuff, uh, you know, like. I've, I, I've had to mentally prepare to get back on a truck from all the stuff that's happened. So if you're not seeing the why I quit trucking or anything that I talk about trucking, you should definitely check out those videos after this. Um, so she says, uh, she says that, um, she loves going in the place and stealing, you know, I'm not even so, I'm not even sure if I'm supposed to say that on YouTube, but yeah, she, she does it on purpose. She, there's a particular, um, like I don't know, whoever the highest manager is there. And I know, I know who the, the girl is that she's talking about. She is, uh, she is a, a rude, a rude person. She's rude to, to, to anybody that goes in there. If she knows that you are in the parking lot, <clears throat> living in your car, then she goes out of her way uh, a little bit to be more rude and stuff like that. Uh, there's been maintenance people that work there that um, have been, um, you know, uh, you know, generous towards uh, roughing it. Like this one dude used to wash his clothes once a week in the washer and dryer there. Um, you know, uh, they would hook up certain people, uh, free fountain drinks. I've never gotten anything free there and I don't think I would accept anything. I, I think that, uh, you know, I'm not at that point and I make it a point to not look homeless. As you can see, I'm clean shaven. I actually took a shower earlier today. Um, uh, you know, I took it at my friend's house. She, uh, I've done a video. Um, I think it was my first vlog. So not my first video, but my, uh, a day in a life or my vlog, uh, all day vlog. <clears throat> uh, she, uh, that, that same house, that same friend, um, she works from home, so she does a bunch of uh, conference meetings. And it, I, what I've been wanting to do is, is uh, record me, like maybe interviewing her a little bit. But I, I know it's gonna be on me. Maybe she'll ask me questions that I haven't thought to answer yet, or maybe she can bring up stories that she knows about that she's witnessed and stuff like that. So uh, I know that that was one of the uh, suggestions in a comment. I do plan on making it. It just uh, I got to get there before she does these conference calls. Some days uh, she doesn't have as many conference calls. Uh, today was absolutely crazy. In fact, uh, she didn't make me breakfast. <laughs> I brought my own stuff there. I even got her, uh, got her uh, strawberry froth, uh, whatever it is, strawberry yogurt with granola. I think it's a frappe. I don't even know what it, what that is. I, I don't eat them. <sighs> I would, but <clears throat> uh, nonetheless, got her that, and I got her uh, a tea. Uh, and then I ended up uh, making myself breakfast, and uh, it was more like lunch. <laughs> I brought my own stuff there, and then I uh, made my own lunch there, microwaved my stuff that I was going to eat for the day, and then I uh, packed it up. You know, so she was so busy, and she was on so many conference calls. Try not to get sidetracked here, but uh, you know, I'm, I'm excited to talk to you guys. As you can tell, I'm excited to talk to you guys and excited to do, to do this video. And I feel like there's a lot that I need to, to, to cover since it's been a few days. You know, um, I don't ever want to go like you know this long again. Uh, without talking to you guys and stuff like that um you know and I, i'm sorry if you guys were worried i am okay um you know uh just telling you what's what's been going on so stay with me on this this is a crazy night so this the, the, there's a point of this like that's not crazy me seeing a lot lizard i see them all the time uh you know uh you don't have to throw throw a stone in any direction uh and 99 of it the people the women that do that kind of stuff they're on the internet and they're like clean or, you know, they're like the ones that are gonna be at a truck stop or a rest area, they're the ones that are bad, bad. Like, I mean, they, there's a reason why they're not using the internet. There's a reason why they're not finding their clientele that way. There's a reason why they don't have, uh, you know, uh, a roof over their head uh, to, to conduct their business because those those people, even the ones that are rough on the street, still make a lot of money, you know? Um, <clears throat> but uh so she 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 tells me she uh you know about the drama and uh 
her and uh, Ruffin it are both uh, pretty pissed off that a couple guys got fired at that truck stop that were helping them out a little bit, like, you know, free found drinks. Uh, the dude who used to wash his clothes from time to time, that guy had been fired for a while. Uh, and another guy, and wh why uh, why those people were, you know, um, kind to, 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 to uh, you know, and I'm in the hood, 99% of the time they leave us alone, the cops don't even bother. Uh, the cops do show up there in under, under, undercovers, they're looking for big catches. They're not looking for people sleeping in a the car, they're not there for petty theft or anything like that. Um, they don't even care, you know what I mean? Uh, they're after, they're after whatever they're after, you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> um, and, uh, you know, uh, the people that they hired uh, at this truck stop, they do hire felons. Uh, some of the people are, uh, have changed, um, you know, their criminal mindset, but they also come from the street. So some of the maintenance people and some of the people inside that were looking out for, for, for regular people, they got fired uh, for, you know, that lady that I'm talking about, that uh, the high up general manager or the, you know, whoever conducts the whole thing. She's like the head, head woman in charge type of thing. <clears throat> she uh, fired a couple people because they, they helped uh, helped him and I guess they helped that girl and, uh, you know, they've been kind, you know, kind, uh, kind to some of the people that uh, have been living in their car. Um, they, uh, they hire felons and, um, you know, uh, a couple of them were, a couple of them were, uh, out of prison and on their breaks, they read their Bible and, uh, you know, they, they were kind to people, you know, uh, you know, if, if you weren't kind, I'm sure they would, uh, react accordingly. But if we're not, you know, if, if I'm not bothering anybody and you don't know I'm homeless, <clears throat> other than you see my car, uh, a couple times a week, or you see me going there using the bathroom or buying something small there, I try not to buy anything there. It's a truck stop. Everything is marked up to the, you know, to the sky, you know? So, uh, anyways, <clears throat> um, she's mad about that and, uh, they can't stop anybody from, uh, for snatching stuff there. In fact, she does it in front of them. In fact, her doing it turns her on and she's she's explaining that stuff and she's uh she's there to, to cause havoc and uh she, and uh she says she's gonna go in there and she's gonna do all sorts of stuff and she's like it's gonna get me in the mood to go around and start knocking on uh, trucker doors uh, and that's what she does she um the way she propositions because i'm just gonna tell you what she uh, her style and her stilo is um all the truckers in the trucking uh the truck parking place uh she knocks at the door and says that she's hungry if she hasn't, if she needs a shower, she says, I could really use a shower. Do you have any shower credits? I'll join you. Uh, she, she openly admits that she's, um, she's done things uh, for as little as a cup of water or a bottle of water or whatever, right? As little as a bottle of water, you know, she was desperate and that's all the person had. And, uh, you know, and I, when she's telling me this stuff, uh, you know, like I, in the beginning of the, the, the conversation, I was saying how standoff, standoffish I am. I've mentioned in other videos, somehow uh, I, nine times out of 10, people open up to me whether, um, whether I invite them to or not. You know what I'm saying? I understand, you know, they're, sometimes when they're doing this stuff, it's a hustle, they're finessing. This, this, uh, me telling her I wasn't gonna let her use my phone, I, why I didn't let her use my phone, uh, just to clear this up, is um, she's small, she's little, she probably could outrun me. Number two, she's a woman, so if she ran off with my phone, it'd only be my fault because I'm the one who handed it to her, you know. And I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, um, I'm not gonna risk her running off. And what if I did chase her and I did catch her? Like, <clears throat> she's a woman. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do anything, you know. Like, if she attacked me first, maybe, you know, what I'm saying it, it all depends, right? Like, if she, if somebody attacks me that's a woman and I can just block it and walk away, then cool, you know, that's how I am. But I, also, uh, it could have been a guy. Uh, uh, you know, an overweight guy who like was in a wheelchair that knows not going to roll off on me or whatever. I don't want them touching stuff. I don't know what they have. I don't know if their hands are clean. Um, I just know that I'm a lot safer from not doing that. If somebody said that they needed, you know, an ambulance or they needed, um, you know, some kind of medical help or whatever, you know, a non-emergency number, uh, I would either I would either call or go into the truck stop and uh, let them know that they need to call. You know what I'm saying? So it's not like I'm a jerk. Um, just wanted to throw that out there. So she says that you know, <clears throat> you know, that's her stilo and that's what she uh, that, that's where her get down is and everything else. And she said she was gonna go in there and, and start you know nabbing stuff up. I do have to use the bathroom, however, because I know she's gonna go in there and do that kind of crap. I'm gonna wait 
a good 10, 10, 15 minutes and then go in there, right? Before, you know, I don't want to be in the store when she's in there doing it, you know? Uh, if I know somebody's going to do something like that and I'm not with it, then I'm just going to stay back, you know? She goes ahead and talks to Roughing It for a couple of minutes and goes in there. I wait about 15 minutes. I go and talk to, to Roughing It for like two or three minutes. Uh, you know, like, hey, anything popping around here? Anybody got to watch out for? You know, how was your day? You know? You know, just regular talk. I was like, you know her? And he's like, yeah. And he's like, yeah. He's like, I told her before she walked in her car that you weren't going to let her use it. And he's like, he's like, I told her. I was like, I was like, you, you don't want to walk to uh, walk to his, uh, Alien's car. And uh, she's like, why? He's like, because he won't let you use it, and he doesn't like people not near him. And and then she's like, really? And then he's like, well, you can ask, but I'm telling you, I don't think it's a good idea. And uh, you know, she still did it. You know, I'm I'm not gonna bite your head off. I'm just not gonna I'm just not gonna. Uh, risk you running off my phone or grabbing and throwing it on the ground breaking it or getting you know how do I know your hands aren't cut up and you got blood dripping off of you or fragments of it and touching my stuff just the thought of it is you know making my skin crawl <clears throat> she goes in there and uh, I wait 15 minutes and then I walk in there and then when I walk in there uh yeah, she's still in there stealing, and she's uh, she's in a full blood, uh, full fledged argument with uh, that uh, that lady, and she's calling her uh, nearly every single name in the book. She's got three little backpacks, kind of like a backpack, a purse, and some kind of handbag, and she's, she's taking sandwiches. She took a you know a harmonica. I didn't even know they sell harmonicas there, and I've been in truck stops uh, you know hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of times, maybe even thousands. I don't know. She's taking that, and she's doing it right in front of her. And she's uh, talking crap to her, and uh, she's just taking sandwich, taking wraps, taking food. Um, she even says, you know, that pizza behind that counter uh, isn't safe either. You know, she's just she's just thugging and wiling out in front of all these customers, and it's it's bad enough that you're you're going to go in there and do that. They know that she does that, uh, evidently. You know that, like I said, it's the first time he's seeing her, but she works on the trucks, the on the the trucker side of the parking lot, and I guess while I'm at work, she goes around and talks to some of the people in the car. You know, I have no idea. Uh, I know that she's mostly over there from from what she told me. So she's dugging in. She's like, I want the sandwich. She's calling her names. And she's doing little dances, and when people are walking in there, she's like, you know, hey daddy, hey daddy, let me get a, you know. Hey, Daddy, I'm hungry. You know, if you buy yourself a slice of pizza and, and don't finish it, I'll eat the rest. So she's she's being careful not to actually ask somebody directly, like, buy me, buy me pizza. You know, that was one of her, you know, her little sly things. Like, she don't ask somebody to, to buy her a shower. She's like, if you got shower credits, I'll take a shower with you. So it's not actually asking somebody. And I don't think she would really care if she did get charged for asking somebody. I think it's something like... Um, uh, panhandling I think that would be the least of her concerns you know what I mean she's she's dogged out yeah just to give you a uh, idea what she looks like like I told you she's got that drug uh, rash all over her face she's very unattractive she's very skinny and very small and she's white and uh, the rest of the lot lizards just about three other ones that I that I'm aware of uh, they're all black and they they hang out on that trucker side and uh, these motels down the street that's basically the gist of that. So she's doing all that stuff, <clears throat> and uh, I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, it was better than watching a movie. It was better than watching, uh, you know, uh, something on on YouTube at the moment because I uh, I, I found it I found it a little bit funny, uh, you know. And uh, what I found funny about it was is that like it's it's hood stuff. You know what I mean? Uh, I found it interesting. I thought about pulling out my cell phone and recording it, but I'm not trying to paint a target on myself, and I'm not trying to stand out. And when she's you know, cursing at uh, the lady and everything else and taking these damn sandwiches. She's saying, you know, like, you know, I'll, uh, you know, you know, you're always telling your employees, to, you know, to not help the people that are, you know, like, uh, you know, the derelicts outside, the, the the people that are in the parking lot, you know, blah, blah, blah. She's like, she's like, I'll start giving them all free, uh, free stuff. She's like, she's like, if you work here and you want to be down with me, I'll give it to you for free. And she's saying all this stuff. And it was more interesting than a movie, more interesting than YouTube. And, uh, you know, I'm not smiling or laughing uh but i'm laughing inside like this is pretty damn uh, interesting and, and, and funny to watch i go you know 
I'll watch for, you know, I don't know, a good seven, eight minutes. She's still in there doing her thing, and I, I go use the bathroom. <laughs> and I'm like, and she saw me in there, and uh, she's not talking to me or anything like that. I'm like standing by the aisle watching her do this stuff, and her facial expressions, and her doing that drugged out little wave thing, and, you know, you know talking all crazy, man. It was just really, really, um, you know, it, it was... Uh, like I said, it was like a, it was like a free movie. I got a free show of somebody, you know, showing their ass, acting up. You know what I mean? Um, I go use the bathroom, and I leave, and she's uh, she's actually outside the place now. So she's outside the place, and uh, she's when truckers and people are walking in, she's like, I'm hung. And she's got a back backpack, so full, uh, you know, three of the bags, like I said, like a handbag, a, a backpack, and a purse, uh, all filled filled to the brim. And she's you know blowing on the harmonica. She's like, This could be you, Daddy. This could be you. She's like, you know. Um, you know, uh, I'm hungry, I'm hungry, and I, that pizza in there smells good, and she's doing it, and these people are actually going in there and, and buying her stuff, I mean, her hustle, like, nobody there is generous, if you were out there begging with a cup, you, well, you somebody would run up on you and take, take your stuff at the end of the night, she's got different swag, and she's making them laugh, her social game is, you know, like, you know, she, she's about her business and like really, really funny when she's doing all this stuff. Like she's got, she's got that hood charisma to her, even though she looks like crap. People are actually, you know, like buying her slices of pizza. And so, she, and she's got them stacked up now. She's got like three of them in her hand. You know, like people bought them real quick and 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 are like, you know, what do you want? What do you want to drink in there? And she's like, I want a Powerade or whatever the hell it is. I walk, uh, I walk past, and I. uh I go talk to Ruff and it. I'm like, dude, you wouldn't believe the shit that I saw inside, man. I go, dude, she's just, you know, that's going to be her nicknames, uh, you know, Terror, because she was just tearing it up in there, you know what I mean? Tearing it up. So we'll talk to Ruff in it, and her name's Terror, Terror in it. So I'm like, she's tearing it up in there, and she's acting a fool. I go, I go that shit is funny, though. And, uh, you know, I, I, I don't condone people going in there and taking things. I'm not a thief. I'm not like that. Uh, However, you know, I, I do have different sides of my sense of humor from something that's really corny to like really bad dad jokes to, you know, like jokes that are, you know, explicit and seeing stuff like that makes me laugh uh, sometimes. I guess it depends on the mood. That, that, that mood, I thought that shit was hilarious and I'm glad that, it, uh, you know, I, I, it was just, just like a movie, but better. You know what I'm saying? That's the best way I can explain it, and uh, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie that I thought it was funny. You know, in fact, if I recorded it, it probably would have been viral, and people would have been like, "Damn, dog!" You know what I mean? So I'm telling that, and he's like laughing. He's like, "Yeah, man, she comes in there and she just, you know, she, she's notorious for this, man." And he's like, he's like, and the cops, you know, when the cops come around here, you know, they they say that you know she's the least of uh least of our worries for for everything she does. And I go, yeah, she was saying that shit. I go in my car. I'm like, you know, I'm like, I'm like. Don't have her, you know, bother me, man. Like, if she asks you, you know, does she think that, uh, you know, uh, uh, I would let her use the phone again or something like that, dude? Tell her to stay away from me, you know? Then I'm in my car, and she uh, comes out, and she's waving and <laughs> waving at me and waving at Ruffin and waving at some of the other cars there. She goes to Ruffin it, and uh, she, uh, it's cold, too. Uh, uh, you know, a couple nights ago, it was, it was pretty cold. She even had sandals. She's had socks on. She, like, not even sandals, uh, prison slides. This is what they look like, slides, but not from prison, probably county jail. Uh, uh, she had some slides on her feet and some socks, and she's small, and she's uh, it's cold out there, even for me. <clears throat> she uh, She's talking to Ruffin' it. She, uh, I could hear a little bit of what's going on, and, uh, you know, I'm just keeping my wits, she, she wants to jump in rough in its car to, to eat, uh, some of the pizza she got, and she offers some to him, and, of course, he, uh, he accepts, she jumps in his car, and I'm like, oh, and this is the thought I had, my like, and rough in it really does smell really, really bad, he is a good person, and he is a good friend, uh, you know, uh, but he does smell really bad, he hasn't showered, and, uh, you know, he tries to give himself a little bird bass, but him and his vehicle and the dog inside of it is all bad news. Like, and she jumps in the back seat. I'm like, man, how the hell can you eat in there, man? You know, I understand if, if, if you're the one who, you know, whose filth it is, um, you're used to it, you know, maybe. I, I have no idea. You're used to that smell or you can get over it. She jumps right back out, man. Like, I'm talking about. She jumps in the back seat to get warm and roughing it at this time. His car is running and somebody did give him uh, some gas money the day before. Uh, normally, his battery, um, when he doesn't have gas for a while um, and he does come up with gas, I jump his car. And when I jump his car, he'll uh, run his car, you know, when it's really cold. So, like that. At this particular time, he's running his car. 
keeping him and his dog, uh, uh, you know, warm. She jumps back there and jumps right out and starts eating uh, her, her slice of pizza. And then she um, gives him a couple of sandwiches. She walks up to my car and asks me, you know, hey, do you have food? Do you need any? And I said, no, I'm good. Um, and then uh, when I do that, she um, like, she's like, uh, she's like, hold on a second. She runs back over there and she's like, she, she asks us roughing it. She's like, you you really should, you know, take a shower and, you know, I'm going to clean your car when I, uh, when I have a chance and I buy some, uh, you know, buy some cleaning supplies or, or, uh, go into, um, G uh, Dollar General and, you know, do the same thing that she did there. I don't know if it's a Dollar General, Dollar Tree, whatever. She's like, I'll go to the store and I'll do the same, you know, she's notorious for any store to, to act this way. Uh, but she gets off doing it here because there's people there that, that really dislike her. Most of the time they'll leave you alone. Of course, they look at us judgmental. Um, not me so much in particular. I try to fly under the radar. I'm trying to, to not look homeless. However, have they seen me talking to those people and like they come outside to smoke a cigarette or, um, you know, their Snoop Dogg activities because uh, they go out there and do that kind of crap. When they do that, do they see me talking to them? Yeah. Do I, do I think that they, they probably think uh, that I sleep in my car? Um, you know, uh, if I had to guess what they think, they probably think that uh, I am homeless, but that I am a driver of some sort. And in fact, one of the persons there, when I used to truck drive, I used to uh, pull in my truck and get diesel there. One person there remembers me going into my truck all the time because that was an actual stop uh, I had to do every single day to fill up. Um, but she goes over there and she says that stuff, you know, like, hey, you need a shower, I'll get you a shower, and blah, blah, blah. And he's like, no, no, I'll get one, I'll get one. She's And she's telling him, uh, I'll pay for it, or I'll, I'll, I'll get you a shower. And he, and he says no. And she comes back and she's like, man, I couldn't even sit in there and eat eat, eat in his car. And he's in there, and he's got uh, a slab of uh, uh, bologna, I think, or salami on top of his dash. That's really, really bad. Hold on a second. Right, sorry for that transition. I am doing Uber Eats and DoorDash, and I saw like an order coming out of my phone sideways. I need to, I need to stop the recording so I can take a look at it. So uh, thank you for bearing with me on that little quick transition. Jumping back in the story. So um, she's uh, she's talking to me, and like I like I had mentioned just a little bit ago, um, people nine times out of ten they uh, they start talking about uh, you know like they open up to me. You know maybe it's the way I, I eye contact, maybe it's my aura, maybe it's just the kind of person I am, and how uh, you know I. I don't mean anybody, uh, you know, like, I, I'm a nice uh, person who doesn't mean any harm, you know what I mean? And animals can sense that stuff, too. So, nonetheless, maybe maybe somebody sense, senses that I'm an alien, you know what I mean? And it's not, not that far-fetched. Uh, so, she tells me, um, you know, like, oh, she's about uh, about him not accepting the shower. And I said, I said, well, with what you would have to do to do that, he's too prideful and he's not going to accept it. I go... And she's like, would you accept it if you were him? And I said, honestly, I'd be tempted, but no. I said, myself, I wouldn't accept anything. I said, because what you do for it, you know, I would feel bad that you had to do something like that just to help me out. And I, I, I couldn't accept it. I go, also, you know, I'm a man and you're, you know, you're a woman. Uh, I'd find a way, you know, or I'd, I'd live with it or I'd figure something out uh, to the best of my abilities. I go, I go, he doesn't want you to do that. You know, he, you know. Uh, and then I guess me saying that she, uh, you know, or, you know, how people open up around me, <clears throat> she starts talking about, um, all the times that she's been forced and use your imagination. You can understand what that means. And, uh, she says several times it's happened uh, at that truck stop and, and that she doesn't fight people back. And she's, uh, she's been ran up several times. She, um, even though she's extremely loud and she got crazy with that and I guess this is the whole story, you know, I mean, not the whole story, but like this is a good part of what she was talking about. So it, it's going to be the whole story. Um, she says, um, she says that, you know, despite all that stuff, she knows that if any of them were to, to rush her or whatever, or, you know, there'd be an altercation that were physical, she's got a lawsuit on her hands. And, you know, she knows what the company policy there is about doing that kind of stuff. And that she wants to degrade them the way that uh, she feels that she, uh, they degrade other people, looking down on people and being jerks from time to time, or firing people that were just being nice. You know, maybe maybe those people, uh, you know, shouldn't have get out a fountain drink, or maybe, but there was people that uh, that also got fired for, uh, you know, doing their, their laundry and uh, I think they did the laundry there but they could have paid for the laundry I don't know or just being generally nice by checking up on people you know instead of you know uh, the Salisbury steak that's been out there for seven hours being thrown away I've seen them offer the food to roughen it and I've seen them offer to other people uh, they've never offered me anything and like I said I wouldn't I wouldn't I wouldn't accept I'm not uh, I'm not on that uh, you know I'm not that needy you know what I mean 
<clears throat> um, if I was, maybe I would, you know what I mean? Uh, we're all human here. We all have hunger. We all have, uh, you know, basic hygiene needs. Um, you know, if I didn't have, if that was the only way I could get my clothes washed, maybe I would accept it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it's, it's really hard to put my, you know, everybody has pride and everybody has ego and it's very hard for me to put mine to the side on certain stuff. However, uh, I've had to do it several times. I, you know, one thing that people talk about on, on, on here that I get comments on and compliments is how, how humble I am and the way that I explain stuff, you know, is, is, is actually, you know, it's real and it, they enjoy my perspective on stuff. Um, but, uh, so she's, uh, I tell her that and then she, uh, starts talking about how she's been forced, um, several times and that she's been ran up on, um, she does have a war daddy. Um, but that's the thing I asked, uh, you know, don't know what war daddy is, it's, uh, uh, I don't think I could say the word on YouTube, uh, starts with a P and ends with one. And you know what I mean? Second, second letter, uh, is a vowel. It's an I, uh, I asked, uh, I asked roughing it about, uh, about whoever her war daddy is. I was like, do I got to fucking, you know, do I got to worry about, uh, her war daddy running up and doing something stupid because <clears throat> she's, uh, you know, I talked to her when she was outside my car and I told her, uh, you know, I told her I wouldn't let her use my phone. You know, do I got to worry about anything? He's like, no, no, uh, her war daddy is actually some punk. You know, he's a, he's a punk ass dude, uh, that wouldn't bust a grape in a, in a fruit fight is what I was told. And that, uh, that he don't even come around there at the end of the night, she goes, meets up with him and then gives up uh, the money. That's basically what he said. So at this point now, I'm not, you know, now I'm not too worried. You know I mean? I don't, I tell you the truth. 99% of those people who do that kind of stuff, I don't like, you know what I'm saying? I'm talking about, uh, you know, war daddies. I understand that there, um, some of them can help the women out and and do and, and whatever. I don't really try to get into it. Most of the damn time, I don't like them, you know. Uh, and we don't have nothing in common, you know what I mean? <clears throat> so she's talking about, uh, you know, that she uh, stopped counting how many times she uh, she's been forced after twenty, and then she only started counting where um, somebody got physical with her, like uh, you know, uh, beat her up, you know. Uh, so she she submits instantly, and when people run up on her because she's already been uh, beat the crap out of, and, and how how dangerous this, this neighborhood is, and more than neighborhood, probably the whole city's like that. It's just a really bad place. It's the hood. It's the hood for real. <clears throat> and um, you know, she just gives it up willingly. You know, and when she's telling me that, I was like, it's like. I was like, I would die for mine. I go, you know, I go, my wallet has no money in it, but out of principle, no, you ain't taking, you know, you, you, you know, and I know that it's my pride and my ego, of but out there, my actual, uh, you know, like in that area, <clears throat> it's not like where I'm from. Where I'm from is a different state, it's a different state I'm at, and I've always lived in hoods my whole life. If you were to give up your wallet, let's say, they would not pistol whip you they would not knock your teeth out they would not uh they, it would be the end of it right and i still wouldn't give it up in that situation here it doesn't matter uh in my if, if what i've witnessed and what i've experienced and what i've seen and everything like that if you give it up it's still gonna happen to you she's been lucky though where when she gives up stuff that you know a lot of times nobody did that to her maybe she she got lucky maybe she was being very subservient subservient maybe she didn't catch an attitude maybe they felt bad, whatever the case is, she, you know, she, uh, she gives that stuff up, and I said, uh, I said, nah, that would not, never be me, um, you know, like, I, I just can't, I, I have to live with myself at the end of the, uh, the uh, end of the day, and, um, that's not something that I knew, I, I would know that, uh, like, I would, it would bother me, it, I would be ashamed, uh, I know everybody's different, I would be ashamed that I didn't fight for, for the little that I had, I'd feel like they would have demasked it, you know, like, you know, took my masculinity, uh, you know, like, and I'm just talking about a wallet. Like, if they wanted something else, like, if they were trying to take my body, no, um, all bets are off. It's it's a full-out gutter war, and I'm coming on top, and I'm winning, and all that stuff. It's Alien Army. Uh, you know, that, that I, I, <laughs> I'm not even going to touch that subject, but she's telling me that stuff, uh, and uh, I tell her, I said, I, I said, I, uh, you know, I think you should do uh, I think maybe it wouldn't happen to you so much if you actually had a reputation of uh, of what happens with somebody you know messes with you. And she's like, yeah, but it's not worth it. She's like, she, you don't understand. There, there's too many of them. I'm always by myself. She started talking about war daddy. War daddy's useless, and uh, you know all that crap. And um, you know, 
she's just telling me her whole story and uh at times i'm thinking in my head like i wish i could put this on youtube but also the foul language and the way she's being very explicit on stuff it would never be able to post on here and i figured that i could tell you guys in the most interesting way and tell you my perspective on stuff so that goes on so that was uh the, pretty much a crazy night and uh you know after that she basically walked around the parking lot she was uh she was picking up dudes um because she get uh, a couple of sandwiches and like pizza to uh roughing it roughing it would have done this anyways but any vehicle she got into he wrote down the, the license plate i uh, you know uh before she walked off I, t I did tell her i said don't ever cry wolf with me or anything like that however if something was where you were being forced i go i go you you, you now know what i look like you know what kind of car i'm at i go I don't care what time time of night it is. I go, you know, you knock at my door, you make a loud noise. If I see you in trouble where somebody's doing that to you, I will jump in. I'm not gonna let that, you know, like, it, it, you know, if it could be a total stranger, and if somebody was doing that to a woman, I would, I would, uh, I normally stay out people's problems uh, because you know it's their problems for a reason. I, I, I hate that crap. I don't, I don't like it. Um, you know. Uh, if you watch some of my traumatic uh, uh, childhood videos, you understand that that I will fight against that. I will stand up, and I just said, just don't ever cry wolf with that, and uh, and let me deal with it, and uh, sh uh, like you know, not let me deal with it, but like if that happens, and I was and I was to see it, or you saw my car right there, and you were just a parking lot, uh, you know, the, the trucking parking lot, or in the same parking lot, and something's happening, you yell out, and if I hear a noise. And you know, I had saw you in that area, you know, that kind of stuff. I will come over there and I will uh, stop it from happening and uh, probably, uh, uh, you know, do my best to hurt, to, to hurt the person, you know, and uh, you know, let them, you know, trying to trying to keep it on YouTube <laughs> as uh, friendly. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do, but I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to prevent that from happening uh, or continuing happening or give that person uh, a weapon you know, flat out. You know, that's probably what's going to happen. Um, and I know everybody's a tough guy until they meet one. I don't try to portray one, but when I see something like that, or if I know something like that's happening, uh, like I said, I have to sleep with myself in the night. For me to know that I uh, I could have helped in a situation like that, I would not uh, be able to sleep with my you know sleep at night, and I would not be able to um you know I wouldn't feel very well if I was in that situation. I would you know and stuff like that you know and watch my trauma traumatic childhood videos. You understand why that stuff bothers me and strikes a chord so hard. You know. Um, so I let her know that, uh, she went ahead and, uh, you know, did her thing, roughing it, writing down the license plates and stuff like that. Um, and then, uh, that was basically the, the, the end of that crazy night. <clears throat> so now I'll, I'll go into the updates. Um, I, uh, don't know if you can tell or not, I have been losing a little bit of weight. I've been, um, walking 40 minutes every single day and lifting, um, the stuff that I'm lifting, uh, is I, I did lose my, uh, my gym membership, uh, for ten dollars at Planet Fitness, so uh, I lost that because I had insufficient funds in my bank, and it bounced, so I, I can't go in there. So I've been only taking showers at friends' houses and stuff like that. I have a like probably around twenty or twenty-five pound bag of tools that I carry in my trunk, and I've been lifting that. <clears throat> um, the updates on that stuff is, is I've lost a lot of muscle, I've lost a lot of strength as well. Uh, I don't know how much I weigh. I need to be underneath 220 pounds uh, to pass um, some of these stringent DOT physicals. That's Department of Transportation physicals. There is a couple of uh, trucking places that I am interested in. Um, it's not going to be OTR. Uh, well, at least right now, uh, there, there's some dedicated lanes and some dedicated customers. It might not always be the same customer, but that it, it looks like the miles are good and it's uh, you know the places that uh, you know that I seem you know that I, I, I've been through uh, you know a lot I used to do OTR anyway so I, I I've delivered and picked up into every state except for Florida I've never uh, picked up in Florida and I've never delivered to Florida however I've been there before and uh, you know I've been to Tampa before and it was pretty cool I don't know what it's like to drive trucks out there I don't know the truck stops uh, but all the other states I know pretty well um, but uh, you know if there's something dedicated or something that has round trip back and forth uh, you know that seems you know that seems a little bit, you know, more easy, not just easy. I, I, I like boring. Like I, I don't mind doing the same route every single time. I don't need to go see the whole United States. If I do, uh, I want to be in my own car because being in a truck, you're really not seeing it, seeing it for real. <clears throat> so I've been doing that. Um, I don't know how much I weigh and I've been asking my friends, none of them have a weight scale. And that's, what's crazy. When I lived in an apartment, I did have a weight scale. I didn't bring it with me. I lost it. You know, like what I mean, I lost it is I, I'm, this is a, a a small 
small vehicle, right? I'm not going to carry everything that I can, uh, you know, in here. You know, I'm going to carry the bare essentials. I did not think about uh, weighing myself. I lost a lot of good stuff, uh, unfortunately. Um, you know, everything I had, I could sell. A lot of stuff, um, you know, I lost, and I'm not to live with that. And it does bother me. A lot of the stuff I had was sentimental, um, uh, and it is what it is. <clears throat> um, but uh, yeah, I uh, I showed uh, I showed a couple of my friends. I took my shirt off. You know, it's warmer. And uh, they've seen me in summer. We used to, you know, uh, like, you know, they've been to beaches with me before, rivers with me before. At summertime, I was uh, I was leaned up, uh, stuff like that. Uh, I lost the peak to my bicep. I lost the cuts in my uh, my tricep. You can barely see them. Uh, my arms are not uh, as big as they once were. It's not like I was a bodybuilder anyways, but I, I did have a lot more strength, and I did, my arms were a lot more bigger. <clears throat> I am noticing that when I'm working out right now, my arms are staying uh, sore for longer periods of time, even though I'm not doing nearly what I used to do. You know, I used to, uh, I had an easy curl bar, and I had put 35, 40 pounds uh, for my, for my um, uh, like in the beginning after warming up, you know, 35, 40 pounds on each arm, and uh, do, you know, doing like you know between uh six and 12 reps we do a couple sets of that and then i would draw you know pyramid down or do, do a drop set or whatever <clears throat> and i would do about eight sets uh per body part and i was working two body parts um per day and uh i was doing it at least four times a week uh most of the time it was actually five times a week and that would take two days off and that was uh not really including legs uh but uh you know it, 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 that doesn't really matter um so I guess some of the other updates too is my friend Ruffin it. Uh, you know I've talked about him before. He, um, I was thinking that he gave up on on stuff because there's been some opportunities that that could have you know bettered himself or conversations where I uh, I thought that you know whatever his answers his answers were not co aligning co aligning with him trying to better himself and I thought that he uh, was giving up and it was very hard for me to um you know uh, you know like everybody's different you know. Uh, but it's like, okay, if, if, if you give up and stuff like that, you know, then <clears throat> it's, you know, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna try to help you, um, uh, you know, basically help you, or I'm going to look a little bit different. Like, you know, man, there's more to life than this, you know, you know, the, the graveyard is filled with uh, a lot of people who have empty dreams and promises or thought that, thought that they would have another chance. And now they don't, you know, and I would tell them stuff like that, like, you know, the graveyard is filled with a lot of people that, you know, uh, uh, for a long time, they said that they were trying to get their stuff straight, you know, uh, when are you going to start getting it? And without be coming down on him, because he's a grown ass man, you know, like, hey, you know, if you don't want to want to, uh, you know, figure out what, you know, what you think your next move should be, you know, I can't tell you, you got to figure it out yourself a little bit. But he, uh, he broke down twice in a week telling me and telling me, you know, that he is sick of it and that he's, uh, you know, he wants normalcy. He wants to be able to take showers he wants to be able to be inside of a house there's no uh i've done a lot of my earlier videos i've talked about you know i don't fall in a bracket where um you know at the local level they can help me um you know i'm not uh i don't have any children i am not on uh, any substances um you know i uh, i'm not a age bracket i'm not military i'm not a pregnant woman i am not uh you know um uh, you know, leaving, uh, uh, you know, some kind of domestic violence type thing. Uh, I don't fall in this and, and, and he falls in the, the category of, um, you know, he is, uh, over 70 years old. So him being older, <clears throat> he, he falls in the emergency type situations where, uh, you know, they could, you know, at the local level could help him. So I made some calls after he told me that. And I said, I said, if that's what you want, I can make some calls. I said, it's not going to be easy process, man, dealing with, uh, you know, uh, uh, dealing with this kind of stuff. I go, but as long as you try, man, if you try, you, you know, it's better than, you know, like if you don't do nothing, all you do is sit here, you know that you'll never have the opportunity to, to do something, man. Or unless you come up with a great idea and he is, uh, he's very much, um, uh, uh disabled. He could barely walk, um. Uh, you know, I mean, he can walk, but he's not walking very well. His hands do not open and close. His hands are basically almost in a stuck position. Uh, I believe he has, a, you know, severe uh, rheumatoid arthritis in his hands. That's what it looks like to me. Uh, some of his hands, like some of his fingers don't even move. Um, he does look like he's somebody that is rough in it. <laughs> it, it at first glance, you, or if you saw him, talk to him for a little bit, you would think that he was on stuff, but he's not. He's just um, the... the the streets and the, the living like this has really gotten to him and you gotta remember he's he's in his 70s <clears throat> um so i made made some calls and um found a found a place that would uh you know 
would help him get uh, his driver's license or his ID. They pay for it, social security. They will apply for it. Um, you know, medical stuff. Uh, you know, if he needs medical insurance for free, they they would do the paperwork for it. They would give him gas cards or a bus ticket. You know, uh, you know uh, whatever those bus things are. Um, they serve hot food there. You know, um, you know they uh, free showers and free laundry, <clears throat> and it's not very far from there and stuff like that. They can get him a free phone and all that stuff. So um, I give him all that information. He went yesterday and he actually got himself a free phone, uh, yeah, which is cool. So he did that. He put his name on the paper. I think he got a little bit, um, uh, you know, like frustrated that. They didn't tell him how long he had to wait while he was there, and I think, I, honestly, I think he just dipped out after a few hours. But uh, supposedly uh, today he's supposed to go ahead and uh, uh, go in there and put his name on the, the paper and uh, try to have those people help him. You still got to deal with people's personalities and if they're being rude and if they really want to help you. However, if you know he don't have a license, so you know, or I mean, yeah, expired license. He don't have an identification card. He doesn't have a social security card. He does have his birth certificate. He has uh, some stuff, and there's a lot of stuff he doesn't. <clears throat> he also don't have the money to go uh, to the DMV and pay for it. He also doesn't have an address to use. Uh, his vehicle also uh, expired tags, no registration, uh, you know, probably no registration, and definitely no insurance. He's driving around without no plates, uh, so, you know, yeah. I don't know what's better to, to have expired or, or run with no plates, but he's running with no plates. Um, so he's being very careful because it's winter time. If he loses, you know, if, around that area, the cops, um, they're going to see that he lives in there with a, with a dog. And I mean, they could take his vehicle. Of course they could. They could also say, we don't want to take it because now you're just going to be out on the streets and, uh, you know, hundred percent, they could tell him park it there and we better not, you know, better not see it again. And I think that's what they would do. Uh, however, there is a chance, you know, they, they, they could take it, but there's also, uh, you know, you have to, you know, it's a good idea to have a phone. It's a, it's a good idea for you to try to f uh, figure out those services. And if he did get on social security, if he did get uh, on low uh, income housing or, and, and, you know, he was able to get a medical doctor, all those things, he's at the age <coughs> where moving forward now, the, 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 the years that he has left is going to be a lot more pleasant than sleeping in a car and uh his trunk doesn't do what mine does like i can lay back there he he's you know sleeping in his driver's spot you know what i mean uh there's some other stuff that i, I do want to update you uh update with you guys um but i just can't think of it off the top of my head but i'm sure uh when i do i'll write it down and i'll make uh i'm going to be doing um daily videos uh or doing my best to go ahead and do that i want to thank you guys so much for rocking with me um you know if you guys want to support me uh, and show me some love and bless me my cash app is the same as my youtube alien ascend i'll link that in the description and uh you know if you've watched all the way to the end i really appreciate you i'm uh, trying to monetize my youtube and i'm about 400 hours uh, before i could go ahead and apply uh, for monetization um you know where i actually get paid for ads so if you guys can and you've never seen my videos before watch uh watch the video some of my videos that you've never seen before or if you've seen all of them um you know I appreciate you and just drop comments and it'll help uh, push my content out. You know, I want to thank you so much.